Hey all, it's Josh with Battle Bond here. I'm here with Ryan, and uh, we're gonna play some MESBG for you guys. Okay, so uh, we're playing a 360 point game for you guys today, and uh, that's kind of a weird points level. That's just because uh, Ryan's gonna be playing in an upcoming slow grow league, and that is their starting points value. So Ryan, why don't you go through uh, what you got for us today? Yeah, sure, so I brought uh, Minas Tirith, uh, we're at 358 points, 24 models. I brought Faramir, um, put him on a horse with heavy armor and a shield. Uh, four Osgiliath veterans uh, with shields, four with spears, um, three warriors with a shield, and three warriors with a shield and spear. And then we've got Syrian. Uh, and his warband includes five Citadel Guard. Um, I swapped the spear for a longbow. And then three Guard of the Fountain Court. Awesome. We'll uh, come back to you guys with my list. Okay, so I've brought Isengard once again. I think this is going to be the last time I play them until I get uh, Saruman painted up. So they're, they're going to have a little hiatus from the channel for a bit here. So starting out, we've got Lurts. We need him to do something this time, so let's hope. We've got uh, 10 Urukai with uh, pikes, and then we have five orcs with axes and shields. And then Vrasku is here as well, and we've got uh, five crossbowmen, one orc with axe, and two orcs with spears. If you like what you're watching and want to help support the channel, check out our shop at etsy.com slash shop slash battlebondminiatures where we sell a variety of proxy models, terrain, and game accessories by creators such as KZK Minis that can be used for a variety of tabletop games. Use our discount code up on the screen for 10% off your next order, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and now back to the video. All right, so uh, we'll give you guys a general overview of deployment and the battlefield. So you guys can kind of see what it looks like over here. So... You can see all the crossbows are kind of over here and all the melee guys are kind of up front and then all the Minas Tirith guys are coming up to kind of press the issue. So we rolled up assassination and uh, since we both only have two heroes and uh, the assassin and the target cannot be our leaders, we're stuck with um, my assassin and Ryan's target is Vrasku, who's over here. And then Ryan's assassin and my target is Syrian over here. So we'll uh, do our priority roll and we will come back to you guys with the movement phase. There we go. Mighty one, four. All right. So it goes over to Isengard. Uh, do you want to call anything? Uh, no. I won't call anything. I'm not going to call anything either. So yeah, we'll come back to you guys at the end of the movement phase. So end of the movement phase. As you guys can see, not much really happened. The Isengard basically spread out. Minas Tirith came a little closer, but no one is engaged at this point. So we've just got some shooting to do. So we'll come back to you guys with that. So coming back to you guys with some shooting. So. Vrasku and these two Urukai are going to shoot their crossbows into Faramir over here. So we'll see how they go. So we'll do the two regular ones first. Uh, they both hit. And then we'll do Vrasku's. So his both hit as well. So we'll do the in the ways for the regulars. Um, so one goes through. And then for Vrasku, he also gets one that goes through. Okay, so regular. Um, let's see if it hits the horse or the rider. It hits Faramir. And then Vrasku's uh, also hits Faramir. Okay. So what's your defense? Uh, seven. Okay. So sixes? Yeah. So nothing. <laughs> Uneventful. All right. We'll come back again at the end of the shooting phase. Coming back to you guys at the end of the shooting phase. So we were each able to kill one regular model um, and that was about it. So we've, we've got no combats, so we'll be going on to priority for the next round.
So I'm a two. Two. So it goes to you. Um, I think I'll call a move with uh, alerts. Okay, go for it. <clears throat> okay. I won't call anything. Okay. So we'll come back to you guys after some moves. After the heroic move and all the rest of the moving, um, we ended up in this position here. So we're pretty much stuck in here. Faramir got to get into combat. Alerts did not, unfortunately. He blocked himself. Um, these guys moved up. And then, of course, the crossbows stood still with uh, my assassin slash target aiming down sights. So we're going into the shooting phase, and Vrasku's going to do a heroic accuracy. And we'll come back to you guys with some shooting. We're going to come back with the Isengard shooting. So what's going to happen is all of the crossbows are going to shoot into this combat here. There's going to be one regular in the way from this guy and this crossbow and um, this guy and the rest of them. And because I have a heroic accuracy called, I get to reroll my in the ways. So let's see what happens. So the blues are going to be Vrasku. Okay. So we've got that many hits. And then we'll do our in the ways. Um, okay, so these missed and get to be rerolled. These went through. So let's see the regular in the ways here. Uh, okay, so two more go through. And this one will hit my own guy. And now we'll do the combat in the ways. So one to three is me, and four to six is Faramir. And we get to re-roll those as far as I understand it. Because it's still in the way. Okay. So let's add this all up. So we've got four that are going into Faramir including two from Vrasku, and then two that are going to be into my own models. So we'll start with uh, Faramir's. We'll see if we hit the horse or him. So we've got everything on the horse. <laughs> so I need fours to get rid of the horse. So hopefully one of these comes up as a four. Uh, yep, three sixes. All right. Could have killed Faramir, but I guess not. We'll just murder his horse. <laughs> all right. Do you want to do your throne rider check? Okay. So six is really good, one is horrible, so five. All right. And then uh, we'll do mine. Um, so it's going to be strength four versus my defense five, so I need fives. So I kill one of my own Urukais. All right. So yeah, we'll come back to you guys at the end of the shooting phase. The Minas Tirith side actually moved too far to do their shooting. So we're just going to do some combats, and we'll come back with those. End of the combat phase, uh, it was devastating for Isengard. We lost four of our orcs to nothing from Minas Tirith. Um, so we'll do our priority roll and see who gets to go first. Okay, priority. Three, one. That's you still. All right. Uh, I'm not going to call anything. Uh, neither will I. Okay, uh, we'll come back to you guys after the movement. Come back to you guys at the end of the movement phase. So you guys can see we're all stuck in here pretty good. Uh, these guys keep moving up. Crossbows keep hanging out over here doing nothing. So yeah, we'll come back to you guys after the shooting phase. Okay, so Vrasku is going to take a couple shots over into these guys over here. So he didn't move, of course, so he can shoot. So looking for threes. So we hit with both. And then strength four to defense six, so fives. Um, so we kill one. End of the shooting phase, uh, we got our couple kills here from crossbows. Um, these guys can't shoot because they move too far. So looks like we're headed over into combats. So uh, Alerts is going to call uh, heroic combat. Uh, yeah, Faramir will call heroic combat as well. All right. So do up the roll for us, and let's see who gets to go first. Looks like uh, Faramir. All right. So we'll come back with his combat. Okay, okay so we're going to do Faramir's heroic combat right now. So it's going to be 
Faramir plus one against this Urukai. So go for it. There's a six, and Faramir's fight five, right? Yeah. So yeah. he wins. So let's see if you kill him. Looking for a five. Uh, I will might might that. Yeah. Okay. So that'll kill that Urukai, and then uh, those guys will get to move. So we'll come back after with uh, Lertz's combat. Lertz's combat is next, so it'll be Lertz plus a pike into the one Citadel guard. So Lertz will be the three whites, and the pike will be the blue. And let's hope we can get a six. Yeah, so we got two sixes. So I win. And Lertz is strength five. Um, so it'll be fives either way, because they're defense six, yeah? Uh, yeah. All right, so we kill him. Okay. So Lurtz and the Pike will move, and we'll come back to you guys with some more combats after that. So we're going to do Lurtz's new combat here, so it's Lurtz on one Citadel guard. So let's see if Lurtz can get the six. So he does, so he wins. And strength five, uh, needing fives. So we kill him. All right, it's about time Lurtz came to play. So we're going to do Faramir's combat. So it's going to be Faramir versus these two Urukai. So let's see what you get. Four. All right, I can actually beat that. Nope, I can't. Right. Looking for fives. And there's a six. All right, so dead Urukai. End of the combat phase. Um, so yeah, Minas Tirith just couldn't roll anything but sixes to wound. So Isengard is now broken. So yep. Um, going for priority into the next round. Big roll. So it's over to Isengard. Are you going to call anything? Uh, no. no. Uh, I won't either. So we'll come back after some movement. End of the movement phase. Everything's kind of spread out over here, trying to make a beeline over to the target. Uh, yeah, so we'll come back after we do some shooting. Back with Vrasku. Uh, he's going to fire his two shots into this cluster over here. Let's see how it goes. So both hit. And looking for fives. Got a six and a, f a three. Um, yeah, we'll spend two might and we'll might up to a five. So we'll kill two of them. Which so, two do you like? Those two. Two of these guys. All right. So we'll come back with some combats. Going into combats here. Um, Lurtz called a hero combat. And Faramir also called a hero combat. So we will see who gets to go first. Um, looks like Lurtz. All right. So we'll come back with Lurtz's combat. All right. So Lurtz is going to be Lurtz versus two. And we'll see if he can get the six. Huh. All right, doesn't, but he doesn't need it. And we're looking for fives. All right, so we got a five. So he'll kill the guy he was engaged with and get to move. Faramir's next. So it'll be him plus two versus an orc and two Urukai. The orc is going to axe. So let's see if we get a six on the Minas Tirith side. There's a six. So go down by three. So he kills the orc. And he'll get to move. All right, uh, we're coming back to you guys with Faramir versus a Urukai Pikeman. So let's see how Faramir does. Six, okay, he wins. Needs a five. Gets it, he's dead. That's pretty much par for the course for the combats this game. So finally we're gonna do Lurtz versus these two. So let's see if Lurtz can get the six. He does, so he wins. And he is looking for fives. So doesn't get any, and he has no more might. So that's it for him. All right, so it's my priority. So I guess we'll roll to see if the game ends. 
Uh, it keeps going. So, priority roll. Oops. Not in the tray. Four. So it's over to Minas Tirith. I have no might, so I can't call anything. So we'll come back after some movement. End of the movement phase. Bunch of models engaged. The crossbows didn't move. So we will do some shooting. Vrasku's up for shooting. He's going to shoot into these guys over here. Looking for threes. Oh, well, there was my good wound rolls. Oh, kill one. All right. End of the shooting phase. Um, there's basically just one casualty on the Minas Tirith side. So we're on to combat. Coming back to you guys with uh, Faramir and a spear on the Surakai. It's five high. So Faramir gets it. And kills him. Okay, we're going to do uh, Syrian and this warrior versus that Urukai pike. And let's see how the pike does. Mighty two. Nope. So is it a roll off? What's uh, Syrian's fight value? Uh, his fight is four. Okay, um, so I'll, I'll might it. Okay, so you win. No five, so he lives. All right. Last combat of the round is going to be Alerts versus the Spearman. So let's see how Alerts goes. Looking for that six, five high. <laughs> All right. So looking for a five here. So we got it. He's dead. And then it's uh, your priority. So roll to see if the game continues. It does not. So that's going to be it for the game. So we will uh, tally up the points here and get back to you guys with some wrap-up thoughts. We had a look at the points, and with that last kill that Lurtz got, that broke Minas Tirith. Um, so that'll put us to a 1-1 draw. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, that's really funny. Um, as far as wrap-up thoughts go, I mean, I don't want to say my dice suck, but like Minas Tirith won probably three quarters of the combats, and then every combat they won, there was at least one five. It was nuts. Um, so I don't know. My my dice kind of failed me there. I think. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you're unlucky. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And as far as everything else, I mean, Minas Tirith's coming up on me, so they probably needed like a couple more turns to get up to to get to Verascu. Um, I was hoping to make a, a beeline for uh, uh, Syrian there. So, like, that maybe could have happened next round if the game would have continued. But honestly, I'm kind of glad that it didn't because I would have had to start making break checks at this point, and who knows who would have been left. So, good game. Thanks for the game, man. Yeah, good game. Good game. <laughs>